puzzle, puzzle cushion. And today we're going to show you how to solve a puzzle very quickly. One person alone might need hours, even days, to accomplish what these eight hands can do in a flash. 1,000 puzzle pieces put perfectly together in one hour and 35 minutes. Impressive. When you finish the puzzle, the last piece, it's, it's just, oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's satisfying to see all the pieces yeah. come together and th that it creates something. It's like you ha don't have to be creative to create something. That's fun. <laughs> For three years, these Dutch ladies have been meeting about once a month to prepare for championships. They call themselves de Puzzlepoezen, the Puzzle Cats, and their costumes do the name justice. I think it's a bit catchy, yes. just to say de Puzzlepoezen, wow, it's, yeah. It's also yeah. a little bit girly, I guess. Yeah. yeah. It represents us a little bit, like, we also like to dress up, do something special, and it, it makes people remember us indeed, and uh, I think that's very nice. Uh, the outfit makes it complete, yeah. They've already come in second twice in the Dutch Puzzle Championships. The secret to their success? Division of labor. I'm uh, sorting pieces to different projects. Uh, so when I'm done with that, or well, I'm mostly all of the time doing this, but I can uh, give everybody a project to work on. So when they're done with what they are doing, they ask me for a project. My job is mostly uh, doing the more difficult projects. Uh, so in this case, it's like entirely blue sky. I do the most of the time the small projects. I'm starting with the, the edges of the, of the puzzle. And then um, well, when, I, when I'm finished, uh, I will take a look at the, the puzzle and make a photo of it in my head. And then when they're finished, they will, they will give it to me and I will place it in the, in the puzzle. The first puzzles in the world weren't this compartmentalized. In 1776, an Englishman called John Spilsbury invented puzzling by simply cutting up a map. It then had to be reassembled on a wooden surface. The game quickly caught the attention of children and adults alike. Today, the biggest puzzles contain over 40,000 pieces. In 2019, puzzle manufacturer Ravensburger sold a worldwide total of 21 million games. Puzzles are also a popular topic on social media. British student Nathan, for example, shares his hobby with over 65,000 Instagram followers. René van der Zvet has noticed a growing puzzling hype. He owns a puzzle shop. In recent times, with new restrictions due to the coronavirus in place, he's sold a lot more puzzles than usual. In the Netherlands, we see this already was coming up, puzzling. It was, it's a new mindfulness of uh, is puzzling. And we saw this for the last three years already was growing the market. And when everyone, everybody was sitting at home, has nothing to do, or has to stay at home together with his family, they, reckon, they yeah, discover the joy of puzzling. In his shop close to Amsterdam, the puzzle cats are regular customers. René van der Zvet organizes the Dutch Puzzle Championship and also sells puzzles by comic artist Jan van Haasteden. Participants in the next championship will have to solve one of his puzzles. Puzzling is something really physical. It keeps your hands busy, it keeps your mind busy. It's, uh, it's not too intensive, uh, but it keeps your mind distracted uh, enough to relax and let everything go and also leave your phone and internet and everything alone and just, yeah, enjoy the moment. The moment, yeah. 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 I think that's especially like very nice. Uh, meditation or something. Yeah. Just uh, yeah. to get out of your head and just into doing stuff. Yeah. With the right mix of technique and concentration, perhaps the four puzzle cats can win the Dutch Puzzle Championship. The big goal on the horizon, however, is the World Jigsaw Puzzle Championship 2021 in Spain. They're already signed up. <laughs>